Hi there, welcome to my studio. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan and on this channel, I share a dynamic and expressive approach to drawing the figure. If you're interested in figure drawing, I'd love you to subscribe here and stay in touch. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are a new subscriber. I also write about figure drawing every week over on Substack. So click on the link in the description and join me there. On the monthly tier, you can share your work and discuss your drawings with me directly and see work by other artists as well. Today's video is a short process video. I wanted to share a demo of a drawing that I was working on this morning. It's a study of the back of the figure and I thought it would be worth sharing with you because throughout this drawing I focused on mapping the figure with lines and tones more so than breaking down into shapes and you know focusing on shadows. And I think this can be a really good way to work or even a really good exercise to do once in a while as an experiment because it helps you so much to really lock in your eye-hand coordination and that can dramatically improve your drawing technique. Your way of drawing is ultimately a vehicle to take us on a journey. That's the potential you have of making your art, to say something unique and directly personal to you. And that will really only come through your observation and your mark making. So this way of drawing doesn't necessarily focus on accuracy, or rather what I should say is that it doesn't focus on simplifying or breaking the figure down structurally into shapes in order to achieve accuracy. Instead, this approach allows you to switch gears away from that for a moment, and the primary aim of this exercise is to explore the subject using a searching line going from one point to another. I'm actually continuously checking for accuracy throughout this drawing, but in a completely different way to how you normally would check. Normally, when we're drawing the figure, we're searching for anatomical landmarks that we can identify by name, you know, knowing exactly what they're supposed to look like. And with that in mind, then we're aiming to achieve a likeness of those various parts, one at a time, to make a finished drawing. In this method, though, the emphasis is on the process and not the outcome. So the entire time is spent moving your pencil around the figure from one visual landmark to another, but the subtle difference is that I'm not drawing shapes of muscles with a predetermined or preconceived idea or understanding. Instead, the process for accuracy is that as I mark down one visual landmark, whatever it is, if it's a line or an area of tone or simply a mark, then I'm immediately checking that against something else. So as you draw one line or shape, cross-reference it right away to something nearby or maybe to an outer edge of the form or to a landmark that you've previously identified. So everything is marked on the page and then quickly checked against some other part. And it's like you're loosely mapping the figure with your lines and just recording every visual point of interest. This allows your line to run loose and be free flowing across the drawing, but it also continuously keeps the whole drawing unified and cohesive. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, oh well, you need to already know anatomy and proportion first in order to do something like this loose and gestural study. You might think that this is not for beginners. Someone like myself or whatever is just already very skilled at drawing. But honestly, everything I share on this channel is a method that helped me improve the way I draw. And this exercise will definitely help you improve your drawing. The only way to get better at drawing is to improve your observation skills and your line work or your mark making skills. This exercise dramatically improves both of those aspects. So for the most part, I'm just ignoring anatomy and shadows in an academic sense. I'm trying to look at the figure with a non-analytical view. This is what Harold Speed calls a non-academic drawing. The emphasis here is more on an instinctive and responsive way of drawing. 
Now, of, of course, you're still trying to control the drawing. It's not like you're being completely abstract, but your control in this case is focused on observing and mark making without any analysis. Now, one thing that I find very powerful in this approach is the use of contour lines. A contour line in this exercise is the perfect counterbalance to that explorative uh, line or that gestural mark. So when you do have your drawing somewhat anchored and it feels like it's coming together or it's coming through, then you can switch over to a slow, uh, careful contour line for something like the outer edge of the form. Draw it really, really slowly and make sure that you're looking at the reference extremely closely. I think this is a great exercise to do alongside academic studies because the simple effect is that it unlocks your mark making and that can be really liberating. It can be completely transformative for some artists. If you're struggling with anatomy and, and drawing the figure as shapes and blocks and if you're really frustrated that your drawings are just a bit flat and one dimensional then Try this more fluid exploration of forms with no pressure to describe them academically. Only focus on connecting your observation with your hand movements or your line mark. In my previous video, I talked about three exercises for figure drawing and the first one was uh, continuous line drawing. And this exercise in this video today is very closely related to that one. So if you're interested to hear more about those exercises, then I'll leave a link for you to that video. So let me know if you do start to use this approach in your figure studies. Uh, drop me a comment below and let me know how you get on. And don't forget to join me on Substack. You can contact me directly there if you've got any questions about your own process or if you want support or help with your drawings. So that's it for me for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your support on this channel. Give the video a like, it really helps me out. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.